السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم آمين My dear children, how are you all doing today? We hope that you all are in the best state of Iman and health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all protected and grant you all the goodness of both worlds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease all your works, all your affairs and may Allah make it easy for you to understand the Quran and follow it. Allahumma ameen. So children, today our lesson is about Ayah 24 of Surah Al-Baqarah and this ayah is related to our previous ayah. Therefore, first let's look at the ayah 23 and sum up what we had studied in our last module. So in ayah 23 of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the disbelievers of Makkah that if you have any doubt about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being the Messenger of Allah and if you do not believe that Allah has sent down the Quran to his Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that you do not believe that the Quran is the book of Allah then to prove your claims to prove that you are truthful bring something bring a surah like that in the Quran. This is a challenge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the disbelievers. In our today's ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Fa'illam taf'alu wala taf'alu fattaqu al-nar wal-lati waquduha al-nas waquduha al-nas wal-hijaruh وعدت للكافرين Translation But if you cannot and surely you cannot then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones which is prepared for those who reject faith So what does this ayah tells us? This tells us that to keep the fire of the hell burning the coal or the wooden logs will not be used. Instead, men and the stones will be put in the fire to keep it burning. فَإِن But if لَمْ not تَفْعَلُوا You do وَأَنْ لَنْ Never تَفْعَلُوا Will you do فَاتَّقُوا Then fear النَّارَ The fire الَّتِي Whose وَقُودُهَا It's fuel النَّاسُ Is the men وَالْحِجَارَةُ And the stones أُعِدَّتْ Prepared للكافرين For the disbelievers But if you do not do it Meaning if you couldn't make a surah, if you couldn't present a surah, and this thing, you will never be able to do it. Never will you be able to make a surah. Then fear the fire, whose fuel is men and the stones prepared for the disbelievers. So in this ayah, it is said, فَإِلَّمْ تَفْعَلُوا وَلَا تَفْعَلُوا that if you are not able to bring or make a surah like that in the Quran, which you can never do, which you can never make because it is not humanly possible to do it, then you should believe in Quran and bring faith in the book of Allah. Not being able to make a surah like that in the Quran is a proof of the fact that Quran is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, bring faith in it. And if you do not believe in it, if you do not believe in the Quran, then be prepared for the punishment.
Then it is said in this ayah, فَاتَّقُ النَّارُ الَّتِي وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارُهَ وَعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ So, it is better to be saved from the punishment of the hellfire. Fear the fire of the hell, which will be fueled by the men and the stones. This fire is prepared for the disbelievers. So Allah is telling us over here to fear and be afraid of the fire of the hell in which men and stones will be put in to blow the fire more and to ignite the fire. This fire is made for those who do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the book of Allah, the Quran. So who are these people? Yes, these are the disbelieving people. These are the disbelievers. So children, why will men and stones be put in the fire? Yes, this is because the stones and the bones of men have calcium, phosphorus and lots of other minerals which quickly burns and makes the flame to ignite more. Therefore, to increase the fire, to keep it burning, the men and the stones will be put in this fire. Those stones will be put, the one which the disbelievers used to worship. Those stones which were used to make the idols, those which were worshipped and the disbelievers bowed down in front of them. All these stones will be burned in the Jahannam, in the hellfire. Therefore, the lesson for us from this ayah is that we should learn the Quran with translation, explanation and understanding. Also, we have to follow and live our lives according to the Quran so that we do deeds which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid doing bad deeds. We must obey and follow the commands which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us in the Quran. In short, we should lead our life according to the Quran so that we do deeds that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we avoid bad deeds. We should follow the lessons of Quran so that we save ourselves from the shirk, meaning making partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by doing this we will save ourselves from doing the things which Allah has forbidden. We should believe in one Allah, believe in the books of Allah, believe in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the last Prophet of Allah, obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what will be the benefit of doing all this? Yes, we will be able to save ourselves from the punishment of the Day of Judgment. We will be honored on the Day of Judgment. And also, our life in the hereafter and in this dunya will be peaceful and happy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all kinds of shirk and bidas. Allahumma ameen. Take care of yourselves. Insha'Allah, see you all in the next module. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.